my friend. Don't trust the word. Don't trust the word, indeed. Don't trust the southern girl. Yes, indeed. So, great. Sweet wines are the perfect introduction to wine and Indian pairing. It is true, right? I was telling mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Shapiro, mm -hmm. um, for us, in a home where we cook with a lot of spices, with a lot of herbs, with a lot of aromatics, sweeter wines, younger wines, bolder wines, cheaper wines are the perfect pair. Mm -hmm. If you go for a Burgundy or a Bordeaux, it doesn't go with the food. You're having dead wine with very lively flavors. That wine is beautiful. I like Burgundies and Bordeaux. Mm -hmm. I never drink at my table. But it's just silly to pair them together. Right, it just doesn't go with the and food. And I was talking to the man who founded Food Arts Magazine, Food and oh, Wine Magazine, yes. Michael Batterberry, who passed mm -hmm. away last year. Yes. And I asked Michael, I said, Michael, but Bordeaux and Burgundies and these new wines, he said, he said to me, he says, we these wines were made for ancient times when in Northern Europe, all they ate is what America ate, eats today, white sauce, cheese, meat, and nothing more. Yeah. Salt was the only <laughs> spice they knew. Exactly. Sometimes pepper, if, if you're part of the royal family. Occasionally garlic okay. salt, right? Not in America, but <laughs> exactly. in Europe it was salt Not even pepper. that, yes. And exactly. he said that dead wine mm -hmm. was perfectly paired with that food. <laughs> so with today's true. food, today's hunger for flavor, Please try Florida wine, it's a perfect partner. India is the what Mark Twain called the mother of all civilization, the grandmother of all culture, the great grandmother of all religions. India is forever growing. India will embrace Florida. India is greedy for taking everybody in. We we don't treat foreigners, we don't treat anybody as foreigners. Our culture, our religion, our sensibility is about, there's a Sanskrit word, Sanskrit is the mother of all languages, which you call Indo-European languages. There's an expression that says, Vasundurai Kutum, the global village. Ah. So before anybody else thought of it, in prehistoric times, they'd come up with the word Vasundurai Kutum, that the world is just a conglomeration of people making a global village. My God, it sounds like Not to be. <laughs> Doesn't so it? So these recipes are, just that. You know, whether it was Twain, went, Twain when he went to the East, mm -hmm. his last writing said that he was going to visit the heathens. Ah. And he came back a changed man. He came back admiring the heathens. Mm -hmm. He realized that the heathens had something he had missed in his own country. So his writing changed. Wow. Calling us heathens first and then saying we were the grandmother of all civilization. Wow. Great grandmother of all religion. So. India is not about didactic recipes. The recipes I've given you, these are what Paula Dean, Rachel Ray, Jada, they'll all make chicken wings. How can you be any uh, more dumpy than chicken wings? <laughs>